so uh, currently you are working as a team lead so what are the things you keep in mind uh, while leading the team yeah so as a team lead uh, you are responsible for the software that you are uh, software that you are assigned to and there are multiple or each software right is serving one particular purpose so you have to understand what the goal of the system is how your how the users are perceiving your uh, product how your product is impacting the overall business of the company so these are the things that you need to understand as a team lead now you have a team that you uh, you have a team that will help you build this software so you need to make sure that your team is aligned on the vision is aligned on what the goal for the software is so once you get your uh, team aligned on the vision the next thing is to inspire them to in to achieve this vision so while you are inspiring them you have to give them the right direction so uh, the, the people come from one of the key uh, challenges is in people management is that people come from different backgrounds they have different perspectives right so you need to make sure that you are giving the right direction to all the members you have to build a inclusive culture where you need to hear thoughts from every other person in the team you also need to understand that uh, as a team lead you are not just uh, building the software but you are helping the team develop their career so understand what the career goal of each of the uh, members in the team is how uh, how the how problems that you are uh, assigning them are helping them achieve their career goals so if they are not helping them achieve their career goals understand what will help them to achieve their career goals so uh, different folks might have different uh, expectations right so someone might be uh, someone might want to work on uh, something which is specific or, or which is in which is on ai or ml but your team might not have opportunities so you need to find the right opportunities in such cases as a team lead so that you can delegate it to the uh, delegate it to the member and that will help him uh, help help him stay motivated and also make the right impact so identifying the skills of the team member are also important you have to be skilled at identifying where the team members lack one uh, lack the skill or oh, where they are currently lacking behind on or where their areas of improvement are you have to proactively give feedback to the team members so that they work upon it and also proactively take feedback from the team members about you on how we should how you should go about improving the processes and how you make the team more effective and also efficient in their daily work so that is the, uh, that is generally how you operate as a team lead and that and your overall goal should be to build high performance teams so once you start uh, building a team right you Uh, you can build, you can add more members and then you can grow people who can further manage more people so that is one way you can uh, uh, fast track your career and also build products that delight your customers right 